The Apple smartwatch finally just got competition. In May of 2022, Google's Senior Vice President of Device and Services, Rick Ostolo, showed off the much-anticipated Pixel Watch on stage at the company's I.O. There's a lot you should know concerning what Google disclosed to us about the watch, and I'm here to tell you all of it in this short video. The Pixel Watch Design Nothing beats a smartwatch or any wearable than the cosmetic feature, and Google knows this firsthand. The company revealed the Pixel Watch will have a circular round face and a dome design with glass which will make it look a bit curved over the edges. That's different from the Apple Watch which is rectangular in shape. I'm picturing the Google Pixel smartwatch and yep, that's going to look a whole lot better than a square sitting on my wrist. Although the bezels look a bit thick, so let's keep our eyes peeled for what that display experience will be like. The material Google plans on using is recycled stainless steel, which is the same as Apple and of course you're going to have customized straps with colors, which is pretty neat. The Pixel Watch Tech The Google Pixel smartwatch will be a tech treat. First off, the smartwatch is going to have a tactile crown that allows you to navigate without touching your screen. Meanwhile, touchscreen and voice are also other means of input and navigation. Also, the Google Pixel smartwatch will be an Android-compatible one. It will run Google Wear OS with a refreshed, fluid interface. A little birdie told me it will run its Wear OS software and will support tasks such as tap to pay, navigating Google Maps, Google Wallet, Maps, and receiving notifications. It will also be controlled by Google's voice assistant and a tactile crown on the side, similar to how the Apple Watch is controlled by Siri and the digital crown. Google, like Apple, will offer a version with 4G cellular connectivity so that you can activate controls without a device. What's more, it seems like you'll be able to access Google Home controls with this smartwatch as well. Fluid interface, smooth navigation. You can be sure Google will tick off all the smart wearable boxes with this baby. What's impressive is how the watch will work like a remote to control music and media connected with your other Pixel devices. That's right, all that control right there on your wrist. No taking out your phone in a crowded place or anywhere. But ask any Google rep to verify this and their lips are sealed. According to Rick Osterlo, the smartwatch will have a refreshed, fluid interface that will be easy to navigate. If there is one major feature I look for in a smartwatch, it's a health tracker. And the Google Pixel smartwatch isn't going to leave that out. Now, I'm not talking about Google Fit here. I'm talking about Google's health and fitness integration via Fitbit. Google acquired the fitness tracking company in November 2019 for a whopping 2.1 billion dollars and passed on all of the elegance of Fitbit to its devices. This means that the Google Pixel smartwatch will track your activity, especially if you have a Fitbit account and accompanying app. Fitbit integration of the Pixel smartwatch is going to make it the first Google-branded product to compete directly against the Apple Watch and Samsung Galaxy Watch in the premium wearable space. Android only the Pixel Watch will be available in both Bluetooth and cellular models. But there is a catch. You must pair your watch with a device running Android 8.0 or later, and the watch will also require a Google account. While this is unlikely to be an issue for existing Android or Google fans, it does mean that the Pixel Watch will not be compatible with iPhones. And moreover, that's also part of the reason why Google isn't promoting the Pixel smartwatch as a replacement to Fitbit's products, considering Fitbit's watches and trackers work with both iOS and Android. Apple Ecosystem versus Google Ecosystem so, a Pixel tablet that integrates with a Pixel phone that communicates with a Chromebook and Pixel Watch is beginning to sound very much like an alternate reality where Google becomes Apple. Google's Pixel Watch will be another grandbaby in the ever-growing Google ecosystem, which might soon give Apple a serious run for their money. We still don't know much about the Pixel Watch, but we expect to learn more in the coming months. In reality, even a phenomenal Pixel Watch will not be able to dethrone the Apple Watch in a year. Apple has far too large a lead. The Pixel 6 series was extremely extremely popular for a Google smartphone and had no effect on iPhone 13 sales. The Pixel Watch will be no different. However, Google is laying the groundwork for its products and the Android-based industry to maintain and possibly gain market share from Apple, which has been on a tear in recent years. The supply chain is the only thing holding it back. But make no mistake, the Pixel Watch could be the first true Apple Watch competitor to turn the tide in the war of the ecosystems. Well, well, come on now. If you're going to shell out $400 for an Apple premium product, $250 for a Samsung, then can you expect Google to be in the lower range? No way. The Google Pixel smartwatch reads premium all over its classy round face and you can expect a premium price. And this has been confirmed by Google themselves. So although we don't have a number yet, it's definitely going to be premium. Google Hardware Upgrades 
The smartwatch market is fairly saturated, with Apple accounting for roughly 30% of sales. According to CounterPoint Research, Samsung Electronics Co. holds 10% of the market, while the rest is made up of Fitbit, Garmin Limited, and smaller China-based players like Huawei Technologies Co. While Google's hardware business has yet to become a significant revenue contributor since the launch of the first Pixel phone in 2016, the company has continued to reveal new phones and other devices on an annual basis. Last year's Pixel 6 was Google's most successful device to date, outselling previous generations of the phone. The company does not reveal its hardware revenue, but last year Google's other revenue, which includes hardware, app store sales, and video subscriptions, totaled more than $28 billion. If you enjoyed this video, click one on the screen for more like this, and I'll see you there.